Hey everyone, in this video we will be taking a look at the D-Link Portable Digital TV Receiver. It is a small device which you plug into your Android mobile phone or tablet and it allows you to pick up local digital TV channels. So this means that you can watch TV on the go without wasting your mobile data allowance. So this is what the front of the box looks like. As you can see, it only cost 48 Australian dollars. So it is pretty reasonably priced. I presume that it would be priced similarly in other regions around the world. Let's zoom in a bit here. Uh, electronic program guide, EPG, that must be built into the software. Automatic TV channel search. Recording on demand, you must be able to record to your mobile phone's internal storage or micro SD card. I will need to have a look into that. Watch free to air television on your Android phone or tablet. No internet connection required. Enjoy digital TV anywhere you go. Now let's take a look at the back of the box. I won't bore you by reading everything, though if you want you can pause the video and have a read over everything. Uh, we have got package contents there, so you will receive the digital TV receiver, the digital TV loop antenna, the F-type antenna connector and the quick install card. I have opened the box and the first thing that you are going to see is the loop antenna. It is pretty small considering that it picks up local TV channels and this is obviously important for a device that you want to be able to use on the go. Uh, the next thing that we are going to see in the box is the quick install card. So it's got a QR code which you can um, scan which will take you to download the app or you can follow the instructions on the card. Next we have a limited warranty for Australia and New Zealand and we have the F-Type antenna connector. So this end goes into the device and you obviously plug the TV antenna into the other end. And the last thing that we have in the box is the actual device itself. So let's pull this out. And this is what the actual TV tuner looks like. As you can see, it is pretty small. It says D-Link on the front. On the back of the device, we have the serial number. We have the micro USB connector, which you plug into your Android mobile phone or tablet. And we have the antenna connector on the back here. Um, and it's just simply a case of plugging in the antenna as such. So as you can see, it is pretty portable. Um, you can bend the antenna, obviously. Um, so it's pretty flexible there. Um, and I have got my Android mobile phone here. I will plug it in now. And this is what it looks like plugged into the mobile phone. So I have downloaded the D-Link TV Tuner app. It is relatively small at around 15 megabytes. So let's open up the app now and as you can see I've got the TV tuner connected to my mobile and I'm going to be using the F-Type um, connector for this demonstration and I will be using my roof antenna because I don't have the best um, digital TV reception where I live so if I use the actual included um, loop antenna then I probably won't pick up any channels. So the first thing that you are going to see is D-Link TV Tuner. Allow the app D-Link TV Tuner to access the USB type used by default for this USB device. Um, you should tick that box because you probably won't be using any other apps that will be using this device. And this is the first screen that you are going to see. Run, choose your country to scan for TV channels. So it looks like we've got some instructions here. Go to a channel scan. So I am going to choose my country, which is Australia, and I believe that you can choose the frequency that you want to scan at, or the starting frequency anyhow. I'm just going to leave it on the default frequency, and I am going to press scan. And as you can see, it is now scanning for TV channels at my location, and it's already found 20 of them. So it is picking up the TV channels um, pretty quickly, so it really depends on what the reception is like, um, where you live or where you're using the device. Okay, so we have now finished scanning for TV channels and I am going to show you the user interface. In the bottom left hand corner we have the channel's logo and the channel name. In the middle we have what is on now and what is coming up. As you can see we can't see much of the actual name of the TV show, though if you're using the device with a tablet you should hopefully be able to see the full name of the show there. Uh, and I'm sorry that the interface keeps disappearing, um, though it is set to disappear after a few seconds and I can't change the duration. 
Uh, we have got a recording button here, so you tap it once to start recording, tap it again to stop recording. As far as I can tell, it's not possible to actually schedule recordings, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and we have got the time, the mobile reception and the battery life in the bottom right hand corner there. Uh, that is nice information to know whilst you're watching TV. So it's nice that they included that there. In the le top left hand corner here, we have got a list of TV channels. So you can see all of your TV channels there. And we have also got a favourite list there. So you can add all of your favourite TV channels to the list. And adding a favourite TV channel to the list um, isn't very hard. It's as simple as clicking on a TV channel. As you can see, I've already got this TV channel added as a favourite. You can click the plus button in the heart to add it or the minus button in the heart to remove it from favourite. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have got an EPG, Electronic Program Guide here. So you can obviously see what is on now, what is on next, read the um, TV show or movie's description. Uh, we've got an aspect ratio button, so you can change the aspect ratio of the video on your mobile screen. And I'm not completely sure what this video is. Um, it's got a lang run option. Um, I thought that it might be subtitles. The subtitles don't seem to be coming up on the screen. It is almost as if it is an audio track select button. Um, though, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that button does, to be honest. Um, this button in the top right hand corner here allows you to access recording. So I was able to, um, you know, record video pretty easily. The default Samsung video app, however, wasn't able to play the recording. So I had to download the VLC app to play the recording. Then I had no issues. This is what the settings menu looks like. You have a channel scan option and an about option. So you don't really have many um, settings available to you. So that is it for this unboxing slash first impressions video. Now the question is whether or not it is worth going out and purchasing one of these devices. You can't go too wrong at $48. Um, the device is definitely good value for money. Um, I, however, would only recommend purchasing this device if you are mainly planning on using it around the home, such as, in, you know, such as lying in bed watching TV and you have good reception where you live. Um, I am not confident that the device would work very well on the go because, as you are probably aware, um, digital TV um, reception is a bit strange compared to analogue TV. You know, back when analogue TV was a thing, you could watch a TV show and if you didn't have good reception, it was just a bit grainy. Though the problem with digital TV is if you don't have um, good reception or if there's bad weather, it becomes really blocky and pixelated and you just can't watch it at all. Um, so if you were to try and use this device on the go, you know, for example, on the bus or on the train, um, I'm not sure that you would get um, consistently good enough TV reception to do that when travelling around. Um, so, you know, if you want to pick one up um, and you keep that in mind, then I would say, you know, go ahead and do it. Um, though ideally the device works best in the run spot, um, you know, in a spot which has good TV reception. Though, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, really. Um, if you enjoyed watching the video, please press the like button. Um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.